this is another question on zener diode okay so this circuit here involving zener diode is also different from the circuits which we have discussed previously in the previous questions so here if you see the input voltage it is fixed at 12 volt and the load resistor is variable okay the exact value of the resistance it is not given it is not specified in the question the things which are given is this the zener voltage or the breakdown voltage of this diode is 7.2 volt the variation of the load current il is within the range 12 to 100 milliampere and the minimum value of zener current flowing through the diode iz min is 10 milliampere so here if you see things are not directly specified the value of series resistance is not given the value of load resistance is not given but what is given is the minimum value of zener current and the range of variation of the load current from the minimum to maximum value and the breakdown voltage so here when the resistance value is not given there is no point of determining the state of the diode why because we cannot do so the values are not given how will apply voltage division rule so we here we have to assume that the diode is activated it is on because nothing has been specified the information which is there is not adequate okay so here as it has been asked to find out a certain parameter we have to go with the assumption that the diode is on suppose here the value of these resistors r and rl would have been given then it would have made sense to determine the state of the diode then that would have been a trick question okay uh, first you have to determine the state of the diode so different in different ways questions are framed so here nothing has been specified it means that the diode the zener diode is undergoing breakdown because the zener voltage is given directly nothing has been specified and here how we have to deal with this circuit is that because of the fluctuations of the load resistance there will be fluctuations in the load current okay because when the load resistance when the load resistance will be maximum when the resistance will be maximum the load current will be minimum okay and when the load resistance will be minimum the load current will be maximum this is how the load resistance affects the load current the load current here also controls the zener current here if you see here if we apply kcl at this node i is equal to iz plus il okay the input is fixed okay here when the load current will be maximum in that case the zener current will be minimum why because here the input is fixed this resistance is fixed the zener breakdown voltage is also fixed 7.2 volt so by that the current flowing through the series resistance r or the source current i is fixed i is fixed why input is fixed zener breakdown voltage is fixed this resistance series resistance value is fixed so all the parameters associated with the source current are fixed that's why i is fixed so here when i is fixed the only thing which is changing here is the load resistance value this load resistance variation causes change in the load current between two extreme values which is specified here 
So here, when the load current is minimum, uh, maximum, the Zener current will be minimum. That is this situation. I is equal to IL max plus IZ min. And another situation is when the load current will be minimum, the Zener current will be maximum in that case. The Zener current will be maximum. In that case, it will be IL min plus IZ max. So, it will never be that the load current and the Zener current will be maximum at the same time or there will be minimum at the same time. It will always be opposite. So, here from the information which is given, we are provided with the minimum value of Zener current. Okay, this we have provided with. We are not provided with the maximum Zener current. Okay, we are provided with the minimum Zener current. So, minimum Zener current occurs when the load current is maximum. So, here corresponding with this information provided about the minimum Zener current, we have to pick the maximum load current, this 100 milliampere, IL max and IZ min. So, from these two, we will determine I, this source current flowing through the series resistance because we have to find out the value of R. So, I is equal to IL max plus IZ min which is equal to 100 plus 10 equal to 110 milliampere. So, once we have got this value I, now we will apply KVL in this closed loop. So, here it is like this input voltage which is 12 volt then the R then we will replace the Zener diode with its equivalent circuit that is the breakdown voltage which is Vz is equal to 7.2 volt I is equal to 110 milliampere when we apply KVL here it is 12 minus IR minus Vz equals to 0. That implies IR is equal to 12 minus Vz. That implies R is equal to 12 minus Vz by I. So that is equal to 12 minus 7.2 by 110. This is in volt, this is in milliampere. That is equal to minus 7.2 by. So, it is coming around 0 0.0463 this much kilo ohm or it is 43.6 ohms ok this much ohms so this is the value of R ok this is the value of R. So, here the trick is that to understand that when the load resistor is variable, it will cause changes or fluctuations in the load current. When the load resistance will be maximum, load current will be minimum. When the load current will be min uh, load resistance will be minimum, the load current will be maximum. Here the source current will be fixed because everything associated with it is fixed. And because of fluctuations in the load current, the Zener current will also fluctuate between a minimum and a maximum value. So, here the question is framed indirectly. The parameters are not given 
directly the resistance values are not given the maximum zener current value value is also not given so here we have to pick you know the clues here the zener current is given so when the zener current the minimum value of the zener current is given we have to figure it out in our minds that the minimum value of zener current occurs when the load current is maximum here the maximum load current is given so from that we have to determine the value of the source current that is maximum value of load plus minimum value of the zener current from that we will determine the source resistance by applying kva so these are the concepts which you have to understand okay how to deal with zener circuits in different ways when the parameters associated with it are different first thing you have to figure it out what type of circuit it is fixed source fixed load variable source fixed load or fixed source variable load depending on that you have to make it out okay so load current is the uh, load resistance is variable that means load current will also fluctuate how it will fluctuate like this suppose the source will be variable in that case the zener current is directly dependent on the input voltage so like that you have to figure it out okay so this is another question on zener diode